What if you saw something going on that was absolutely ridiculous, completely wrongheaded, but no one else seemed to see it? Should you speak up and risk looking foolish in front of everyone? Or should you stay silent and keep your doubts to yourself? Back in the 1950s, a psychologist named Solomon Ash performed a famous experiment that demonstrated that peer pressure can cause even clear-minded people to discard the evidence of their own eyes and yield to the group's opinion. To perform the experiment, Ash put several people together in a room. Which line? And showed them a series of lines, some of which were clearly longer or shorter than others. But not everyone in the room was really the subject of the experiment. Some of them were planted there by Ash. Their job was to loudly agree among themselves that one line was longer or shorter than another, even though it wasn't true. Definitely B. A. Ash wanted to test A. whether the real A. subjects huh? would trust their own judgment A. even A. when they had to disagree with others in the room. Uh, A. What he found was that up to 75% of his test subjects could be swayed by the pressure to conform. Ash demonstrated scientifically what people have known for a long time. Remember the story of the emperor's new clothes? In this fable, a king is tricked by unscrupulous tailors into believing that they had weaved him a fantastic new suit, when in fact, they had produced absolutely nothing at all. Because he was surrounded by advisors, who always told the king what they thought he wanted to hear, everyone told the naked king that his new outfit was impressive. Only one character, a small boy who was too young to know that he should only say approving things to the king, blurted out the truth. He's naked! finally causing everyone to laugh at the king's foolishness. But not every king was so foolish. Historically, in royal courts, there was one individual that stood out, the jester. While the jester was a real job, most of us now only read about them in Shakespeare plays like King Lear or As You Like It. The court jester was the only one allowed to make fun of the king or queen because his real role was to be able to tell the monarch not what they wanted to hear, but what they needed to hear. Nobody else around royalty could be counted on to be so blunt. America's founders, as well as the famous British philosopher John Stuart Mill, knew that democracies needed their truth tellers as well. America's First Amendment says that Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. They knew that the ability to speak out without fear of consequence would be the only way to avoid what Mill called the tyranny of the majority. And it's not just in fables or plays where the inability to speak the truth because of social pressure leads to disaster. It's a real phenomenon that can have dire consequences in real life. Social psychologist Irving Janis dubbed this unhelpful phenomenon groupthink and described it as a drive for consensus at any cost that suppresses dissent and appraisal of alternatives. Groupthink and the blind spots it creates has been blamed for disasters ranging from the bombing of Pearl Harbor to the Challenger space shuttle disaster. Avoiding oversights is the reason why the Catholic Church created the position of devil's advocate, whose appointed role is to take the unpopular counterposition in a discussion, ensuring that all angles are thoroughly considered. In his book Outliers, Best-selling author Malcolm Gladwell described a dire situation in which a Korean airliner crashed because of the unwillingness of competent crew members to question their more experienced captain, even when they could see that he was clearly misreading his instruments. Gladwell attributes this tragedy to a strong culture of respect and deference to authority. That pressure was more powerful than the evidence of the co-pilot's own eyes and even their own desire to survive. In journalism, social pressure can make reporters unwilling to explore unpopular topics or to ask uncomfortable questions. Even in science and academia, the pressure to conform to established majority opinion can be so strong that the most popular way of thinking about things becomes practically the only way to think. Disagreeing can be dangerous to your career, even if you're right. At the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education, we defend your right to speak up and to be heard on your campus, even when you're unsure, and especially when there is pressure to conform or to be silent. Freedom of speech is a fundamental human right. What's more, it's essential to the proper functioning of our universities, our society, and our democratic republic. If you'd like to learn more, visit thefire.org.